found this uh, Land Rover, which has been converted by Mark of Overland Campers. Overland Campers. Sorry. Just out. Well, I'll get <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Uh, unfortunately, so, we tore the step off it yesterday at Green Lane in it. Sorry, say that again, sorry. So, unfortunately, we tore the step off at Green Lane in it yesterday. Oh dear. We probably wouldn't recommend our customers use them in that uh, ambitious way, <laughs> but it's kind of what they were built for. It were amazing, and yeah. we had such good fun. So, what's it based on? So, this is a 1997 Wolf Pulse Battlefield Ambulance. That's a mouthful. <laughs> Wolf is the general British Army military vehicle. Pulse was the particular procurement process for the ambulances yeah and obviously it's a, a name appropriate because you know heartbeats yeah. and pulses yeah. and so it was uh, the body shells made by Marshall special vehicles um, I think in Cambridge are they? Mm -hmm. and then the rest of it is, is it's a um, Defender TDI 300 uh, the engine is what uh, Land Rover enthusiasts know as the legendary lump it's absolutely <laughs> beautiful to drive so it'll do top speed 75 mile an hour on the flat with a, a good trailing wind, um, uphill with an headwind, yeah, the the, the fairly slowish, yeah. but but keeps up with motorway speeds. You know, they're yeah, really yeah. really good fun to drive. Um, obviously, the um, those wolf air intakes, they're, they're really what makes it be a military vehicle. Those mm -hmm. are the things that I think they're about two hundred quid to buy one of them. Yeah, um, and so that's that's for the air going in. It stops the snow getting on the top. <laughs> And I think so. There's rubber pads on the top. You could they could put a stretcher across. Mm -hmm. That little thing there is actually a step, believe it or not. <laughs> Up onto and the top. And so yeah, the the spare tire, spare wheel, was normally stored on the top of them. And right. So it's an actual structurally insulated roof shell, so you can actually walk on the top of the roof. Um, and then basically, once we got it, we stripped the stretchers out, put an awning on the side, and then um, did the inside uh, with lightweight plywood and really thought about the design so it's a an RIB seat that's designed for a <laughs> tank of it. There is, there is a little uh, trick for getting in from there. Alright. <laughs> it's still bloody hard work. Uh, so it's an RIB seat that's designed for a T5 that mm -hmm. we um, we then altered so that it would work as a bed. Um, and then it's a lifting roof, I think, that's designed for transit van that we we altered very slightly um, to deal with the the, the flat the flat top because obviously most vans have got a slight curvature on. Um, and it, so there's sleeping upstairs for two. Oh wow! And then once the lid's up, um, obviously loads and loads of room. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's got diesel heating. There's a bathroom in the corner. Which is, you know, works. Shower, you know, toilet. Treat, yeah. yeah. Um, try to keep some little features like the blue and white. Karen, just push that light switch there for me, will you? That one. That one, yeah. I oh, know, it doesn't, with the engine on the blue white flashes, we thought it'd be nice. <laughs> and then for the bed, sorry. Yeah, no, we'll, uh, we'll store the table in the looting. And then the bed is, or well, one of the beds, rather. Is obviously really easy to use, yeah. And then, yeah, um, yeah, the steps there. <laughs> oh, yes, <laughs> yeah. If anyone rents it and brings it back without missing it, it'll cost them a fortune for us. <laughs> Still have a couple of hundred quids worth of damage, but it's all right, these lads are going to chip in, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, How the hell? <laughs> so, you, you, you rent these out, yeah. We've got a fleet of uh four of them at the moment and then we've got a 110 that's converted as well right um, and they're all at least the standard we've got one that's done in solid oak which is kind of my toy really more yeah. than anything else yeah. so um and we have <laughs> guests from all over the world uh, new zealanders swiss germans yeah. and it's really interesting meeting people i've made friends uh in in europe i've got a, a really close dutch friend who's got a version of this a left hand yeah. drive version that um that we hang around with now yeah. obviously they've got tv dvd player in yep it's used <laughs> yeah used it's you know it's still our toy we yeah, yeah. them out but yeah, i still yeah. love it you know it's still a great and a fridge and a fridge yeah so last night after Plenty driving up here 
doing what we did with it over the over the mountains, which you wouldn't do in your 109. No, this no. thing's so much more yeah. capable than 109 yeah. off-road. And but it's a big loads. body. It's a yeah. But it's very, very lightweight. It's three mil, three mil aluminium and then foam. So it's, it's a much, so they look extremely top heavy, but they're yeah. not as top heavy as they look at all. Right. So it's still really sure-footed, and you, you honestly cannot believe what we did with it yesterday. It was nuts. If you look at the state of the step, I mean, we've yeah. just totaled it. Sle uh, sleeps three, does it, or four? Five. Five. Right. Two in the roof, two, two on the bed, two there, well, and two there. there. And then I particularly like this. So that's the original paramedic strip seat that was in the middle. Yeah. And then we even get a little table to go with it. So it will sleep five, <laughs> dine five, and it's got five three-point harnesses as well. Yeah. So we really did it. Because... My sister and brother-in-law have got three kids because they don't have a telly. Um, they keep <laughs> replicating. <laughs> and because they've got three kids, we were like, well, if we're going to do camper vans, we'll do one that can have three kids in as well as two adults. And yeah. so it was. Um, it, we did it deliberately, deliberately for them. Yeah. And But this is like a bog standard offering. You know, the, the, did I show you a picture of Oak Framed one yesterday? Yes, yeah. I mean, Probably. that's just different gravy. It yeah. it's smells of oak and leather, yeah. it's beautiful. But we're doing another one now that, that's come from um, uh, an SAS uh, reserve regiment down in London mm. that we're calling Sterling after uh, David Sterling, the, the guy that set the SAS up. And inside we've got the counter and everything's resin impregnated. It looks amazing. We've done it in pompadour blue and tan because they're, they're SAS regimental colours and it's just it's a really nice thing just to give those little nods mm. and like we've uh, remounted the blue blackout light in in the over the cab on the SAS once and it flashes like buggery. So it's <laughs> really really good. Very good. Uh, thanks, man. I will uh, put a link to your website in our description. Yeah, if you could, that'd be yeah. that'd yeah. be really chuffed. If you want to have a look around it without me waffling. Thank you. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Excuse us, and just the bog standard Land Rover front. Yeah, very much so, yeah. other than that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Booming stereo. Yeah. <laughs> Real. Oh, actually, yeah, I did. I threw some in. There you go. All right, yeah, that'd be nice to see. Thank you. And we've got a um, bin. Being Land Rover owners and enthusiasts ourselves it's really nice to uh, to have a look at this one as this thick, as mark said it's a 300 tdi engine in it and he's going to lose a spanner if he's not careful so real